Hello! So we are back with another cooking recipe today. And basically, I went to the supermarket last week, found this, a butternut squash for one euro, and I was like, I've never actually tried this before, I have no idea what it tastes like. So I'm going to get it and uh, figure out what I can cook with that. And I found a recipe on YouTube um, from this guy, I'll probably look in the description or whatever. Anyways, so we're going to do this. And first step is to cut the squash. I'm only going to use half of it because it's only two of us eating. Um, so I'm going to use half of it today, and then the other half, I have another recipe in mind for next week. Look at me, preparing in advance. So let me cut the squash. I opened up the squash, and I saw this, and I was so confused. I was like, what the heck? And then I realized I'm using the bottom and not the half, which doesn't matter, but I was just not expecting to see that, and I was like... So let me take that out, because we don't need that. Okay, emptying the heart out. I just dropped it! <laughs> Okay, emptying the heart out was so hard, um, and I don't know because I've never tried it, but I feel like that's not a good sign. Let's just hope it's not as hard to eat it because, god damn. So after a super hard workout cutting the um, squash, I put them in this oven safe thing, and I'm going to drizzle some honey on top. Um, Alright, that should be enough, and then I'm going to add some oil. Let's see. Uh, that should be enough. And my oven is ah, that's too much. Preheating at 205 degrees because it was 400 Fahrenheit. And I think it's done preheating. So I can put it in and it's going to stay there for 20 minutes. Okay, while the butter squash thingy, whatever, is in the oven, I'm going to get to the chicken. And it's going to be like some fried breaded chicken. And I noticed my dad bought some almonds two days ago, and you actually need almonds in the breading. He already ate them all. So I have this mix of dried fruits things that have some almonds in them, or I have peanuts. So I don't know which one I'm going to use. I'm thinking probably peanut, because I don't really feel like going through this and picking on the almonds. Um, so I'll just do it with peanuts. That's fine. Yeah. Or I have some nuts, but... I'm gonna use these nuts because they're already open. Whatever. Okay, never mind. I tried the nuts and they're a little too sweet. I feel like that would be weird. So I'm gonna go for the peanuts. That's it. Chopped off the almonds and then I put them with some uh, shaved bread. That's gonna be like, that was my breading. And then I took chicken and you know, dumped it into flour, into one egg, into the bread, blah, blah, blah. And now they're like pan frying with a good amount of oil. And they're supposed to like fry on both sides too, so they're kind of brownish and then they're supposed to go in the oven but my timing was wrong and the butternut is already done so I don't know like they were supposed to kind of cook together I guess like the chicken was gonna go 10 minutes and this one was 20 minutes but I did my timing wrong so I don't know if I'm gonna take them out or leave them extra until they get like brown <laughs> um. what I ended up doing is that uh, I feel like the squash could be in the oven for a little bit longer and the first piece of chicken that was well fried went into the oven and that put the timing for it and then this one is um, still frying up a little bit and then I'm going to put it in this one in the oven for an extra 10 minutes as well to make sure the inside is cooked not just the outside. Now while the chicken is in the oven with the thingy thingy butternut I'm gonna um, make the gravy. Never done that before and apparently what you need is butter um, and then flour, I'm gonna use the leftover flour I have for the chicken, and then some chicken broth, which I don't have any liquid, but I have this, so I'm just gonna dissolve it in hot water. I'm just waiting for the water to heat it up. I'm gonna put it in the cup, probably. Not all of it, just a piece, and then we'll see. This is much harder than I thought it was gonna be. So making the gravy became a whole ass mess. I put some butter, melted it, and then put some of the flour I had left here, added some more flour, and then I made the chicken broth, uh, but I feel like I made way too much because when I poured it, it became all super weird. And then I added some milk and some cream, creme fraiche. And then my dad came in and was like, yeah, maybe some more flour. So I added some more flour and this is what it looks like. I us just hope it's going to be okay and I think I'm never going to make gravy ever again. Without measurements, because he didn't give us any measurements, the guy on the YouTube video. It was just like, uh, blah, 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 and so I eyeballed everything. So let's just hope it tastes good. Oh. 
So this is my first time trying butternut squash and well, I can't get it, but well, the butternut actually, well, feels like it's pretty cooked, well cooked, I would say. And now I'm gonna try it for the first time. Cheers. It's kind of good. So now I'm trying it with the gravy. I like it. It reminds me of sweet potato, both the texture and the flavor because I added some honey on top. So it's like a nice sweet and honestly pretty good. Such a spud. And now the chicken. Mm, that's really good. With the gravy, really good. I love the texture of the chicken. It's like the fried but it's well cooked inside and the gravy gives it a, mm, oh, that's a fat piece. Mm-hmm. Oh.